Good afternoon. Glad you could join us for our Strong and Sturdy podcast. Hope you're having a great week so far. And I've got church tonight, 7 o'clock. Love to see you there. Be where God would want you to be. On Saturday, got to lead a uh, uh, man named Chris to the Lord. Went out, went out with our Spanish pastor. He saw somebody else across the street. Talked to the one of the gentlemen at one of the houses. And, and uh, he was willing to listen and placed his faith and trust in Christ. And I hope he'll come out to church, but you can pray for that. And uh, some of you heard that uh, about my accident yesterday. My, my uh, personal vehicle got T-boned by another uh, uh, vehicle. And uh, praise the Lord, none of my family was in the vehicle. And we just dropped them off at another location. And, and uh, it was just me. And praise the Lord that God protected for his protection, for him taking care. And the devil fights, the devil throws things in your path. But we just carry on anyway, keep doing what God wants us to do. And about praise the Lord for that insurance covers the basis and uh, uh, just praise the Lord for his protection. Thank you for those that are praying for that. I'm bringing to you a verse this afternoon, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. This afternoon, she is thy life. Instruction is life. It's simply an order, direction, or command. The Bible gives us a pathway of life, especially as you read through Proverbs, uh, you'll see that God gives a pathway for life. This is the way I want you to go. Here's the direction. Here's the command. Here's the orders. And uh, we're going to choose whether we're going to listen to them or whether we're not, whether we're going to take that instruction or whether we're going to refuse it. The Bible says, referring to wisdom and instruction, all they that hate me love death. You love death if you decide to take instruction, wad it up in a paper bowl and throw it in the trash bin. And uh, But if you take that wisdom and you apply it and you make it a part of your life, what you found is life. You find a happier life. You find a life that follows the, uh, the, what God intended for us to follow. Life to a wise person is being able to receive instruction, being able to, able to receive an order or, or command. This, the Bible is our order book. The Bible is the book that we get our directions from. And if we follow those directions, we have life. Number one, never think that you have reached the pinnacle of knowledge. Never think that you've reached the pinnacle of instruction. Why well, don't I? I'm at a point in my life where I don't need instruction anymore. No, you're always you always need instruction. You always ought to care for instruction. Your mind ought never get to the point where I don't need any more instruction. I don't need any more commands or direction. I'm doing just fine. No, always accept the command. Always accept the direction. Take the word of God and let it set the path in your life. Let the man of God set the path in your life. Let the parents set the path in your life. Take that instruction. Hold it dear. Don't let it go. Keep her. Keep it. Why? Because it is life. She is thy life. You always have somebody to command you, somebody to direct. Don't know whether it's at work, whether it's at church, whether it's a Sunday school class, whether it's at school. You ought not to throw away instruction. Uh, always, you always have somebody to command and direct you, who can show you how to do it. There's always a way, maybe a better way, that you could do it. And let the people that are in your life instruct you. Don't reject instruction. It brings death to you. It brings death to your life. It brings a miserable life. Put you in a position where you make mistakes that you shouldn't have to make. The, the, number two, the more instruction and direction you find, the more life you will find. The less mistakes you will make, the better off you will live. And there's mistakes that nobody should have to make. If you, uh, if you uh, uh, accept instruction, you accept that wisdom, you'll be able to avoid some of those mistakes, if not a lot of those mistakes. Why? Because you never it's never in your mind where, well, I'm at the top. I have all the instruction I need. I don't need any more. No, you always need it. I don't care if you're 70, 80, 90 years old or you're 10, 20, 30. I don't care how old you are. Never throw instruction by the wayside. Never say to instruction, well, I don't really need you right now. Or I'm doing pretty good. I don't need that advice. No, take it. Hold it. She is your life. No, when people give you instruction, they care. They care about you. They're not, they're not wanting to put you down. When the preacher opens the word of God and gives you instruction, 
because because he cares he cares about your life and you uh being on the right path and not being on the wrong path and not being able to not being the one that makes the dumb decisions that ruin your life or make your life extremely unhappy and happy and bring death to places in your life i don't want teenagers to make the uh, mistakes that they don't have to make i don't want adults making mistakes that they don't have to make i want them to make good choices i want them to take the instruction and whether they use that instruction or you use that instruction at that immediate moment or you take that instruction and file it away for a later date there's a lot of instruction that uh, when I was in college and even as a teenager that I could just file away for a later date. That's good knowledge. That's good instruction. That's good direction. And uh, when, when I get to that road in life, I have the wisdom and the instruction to be able to pull out and say, oh, this is what I learned back then. Or the instruction that applies to your life at the current moment. You take it and you apply it to your life and God gives happiness. God gives life. I don't want you to live a life where you're struggling to breathe. You're struggling just to stay alive. Struggling to prevent yourself from dying. And uh, whether that's physically, whether that's spiritually, I want you to live a life. Maybe it's mentally, but I want you to live a life that is one, uh, that accepts instruction, that receives it, puts it to use. And so you can live the best possible life that you could live. So you could live the life that God wants you to in happiness and joy. And uh, looking back and saying, well, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did what God wanted me to do. I'm glad I just took the instruction that God had, or the man of God had, or, or, or uh, the boss had. I'm glad I took it and listened. And I didn't have to go through that. I didn't, I avoided that pitfall. Friend, this morning, I just want you to understand simple truth. Hold on to instruction. Take it. Keep it. Don't throw it by the wayside. Listen. Pay attention, uh, uh, take the direction, take the commands, and use them, apply them to your life so that you can be happy, so that you can live life happy, so you can have the life that the Bible talks about. She is thy life mentally, physically, socially, and uh, uh, spiritually. But uh, the way that we get the life that God has is to follow instruction. And I hope you'll do that today. I hope that's a blessing. I hope that's an encouragement. You, if I can be a help to you, let us know. Again, uh, we have a ride. So if you need a ride, love to see you tonight, 7 o'clock. Be in your place. Have a great day and God bless.